right, so here we are back again, Chris with RC Worst. Today we're taking a look at a Berkeley 10 horsepower uh, pump. This pump is actually used, has an odd application. It's used specifically to pump water for a water slide. So uh, somebody around the lake has a, a big piece of property and uh, evidently a big water slide. So this is a 10 horsepower pump. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna replace the impeller. You can see that this old impeller has a lot of cracks and is, is broken in places. Um, oddly, it's been painted. Um, so we're gonna put a new impeller in there. We've got a, a gasket to replace, which goes around here, uh, and that allows us to attach the volute, which we have sitting down on the ground. Uh, that volute is probably 60 pounds. It's a big, heavy volute. This is a, uh, I think it's a 10, maybe a nine by six inch discharge. So. Pretty large pump, moves a heck of a lot of water, probably about 400 gallons a minute. Um, we've also got a new seal, so we're gonna replace the seal on this pump, new impeller, and uh, so let's get to it. So the first thing we gotta do is get this impeller off. All right, so we're just gonna grab the back side here. Let's see if we can get that loose. That was easy. Evidently what caused these brakes that you can see is um, the customer at one point was had a two by four in here and was banging on it for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, so looks like we've just got a nasty washer we'll see if we can find a new one of those um, and then we've got a smaller washer and then this uh, style of lock washer so we'll put those aside this should just slide off though it's been on there a while so we may have to use the puller Yeah, I think we're gonna have to use the puller to get that off of there. So we'll be right back. All right, so we've just got a rotor puller hooked up here, uh, what you would use to pull the rotors off of your uh, car. So we'll just see if we can get this thing to break loose using this. Longer, longer handled ratchet. All right, so definitely can tell that this impeller is growing fragile. As we're using the rotor puller on it, it's starting to crack out the impeller. We got a big crack in here. It's coming apart here. So I think we're going to need to spray something in there to like some um, some thread cutter or something to try to loosen up the rust that's hanging onto that shaft, so we can get this thing off here. So we're going to back off of this for now. Uh, put some some hopefully we got some thread cutter we can spray in there and then we'll be back at it here shortly I think it might actually be moving a little bit Looks can be deceiving though. All right, so we've made a little progress, but really not any progress. Uh, we ended up trying to heat it up with the torch for a while, put the puller back on, just busted the impeller all up. I spent probably 15 minutes banging on it and couldn't get any progress. So now we're gonna just have to cut it off. So we'll get to going on that.
Rosebud. All right, well, we finally were able to get the impeller off. As you saw, it took a little bit more work than what we had expected, but a little bit of heat, or a lot of heat in this case, we got it off. So now what we're doing is removing the seal so that we can replace the seal and then get the new impeller installed. Once we get the seal out, we'll work on cleaning this up a little bit in the process. Um, so right now we're just gonna try to get this seal out. I'm gonna see, I got a small puller here, small bearing puller. I'm gonna get on, hopefully I can get on here and, and get the rest of the seal out and we'll just uh, kind of take it one step at a time.